I've had so many different stream setups over the years, but I gotta say, this current one is the best one I've ever had. So today I'm gonna be giving you guys an updated stream room tour for 2022. Let's hop into it. So this is the entertainment center area of my stream room. And this is the background of my stream. So I normally have this background art of mine up on the TV. It looks really cool when I'm streaming, but this is a 55 inch Samsung 4K HDR TV that I have an Xbox One X hooked up to. And honestly, I don't really game on my console that much anymore ever since I switched over to PC. And behind the TV, I have an LED light strip that I have as my brand colors. And below it, I recently picked up some new lights that show off in my stream setup. I think it looks super clean, but it's these bars from Govi and it has a diffuse light to it. For the most part, I just leave these on a cool white. I think it makes the room look really clean. And then to finish off this corner of the room, I have an LED floodlight shining up. Moving on to the back wall of my stream room, I have a couch that I got off of Amazon. I honestly don't even sit on it that much. My girlfriend uses it more than I do when she's in here watching TV while I'm up late working. And then above the couch, you see this LED light bar that I got from Govi, which does show up on my streams and it can do all sorts of crazy effects. I did a whole video on it, but lately I've just been leaving it as a cool white color as well. I think it adds a nice pop to the room. Moving on to the back corner of this room. I recently got this plant because I just needed some way to warm up this room. I was noticing with the blue and purple lighting, just kind of felt a little cold in this room and this plant really did the trick. And then above the plant, I have two LifeX smart bulbs. These two bulbs are some of the brightest bulbs that you can get and I think it looks really good. Then on this side of the room is my closet in which I keep a bunch of electronics and camera gear. It's usually pretty messy in there. You guys don't really need to see it in there, trust me. You'll also notice that I have these sound panels and that is because this room actually has really tall ceilings and there's a lot of echo in this room. So I try to throw up as many sound dampening panels as possible throughout this room. And now for the best part of my room tour, my desk setup. I won't dive into all of the gear here because because I will be doing a follow-up video soon where I do an in-depth tour of my desk setup, but I'll be showing you guys some of the latest upgrades that I've done, as well as some of the main pieces here. Recently, I upgraded this desk from Ikea. It's the typical tabletop that a lot of people get, but this used to be a black tabletop. A few videos back, I ended up wrapping my desk in this white glossy vinyl and it completely transformed the vibe in this room. The other big change that I've made recently in the last couple of weeks is the fact that I now have these white hexagon acoustic foam panels behind my setup. I used to have the black foam panels that you've seen around my room back behind the setup, but it just kind of made my setup cold in a way. And by having these white acoustic foam panels, I'm able to reflect some light off of it. And it just makes my setup feel so much better to be at. And above those acoustic panels, you'll see that I have a black Ikea shelf. And I recently added some more plants on top of the shelf as well just to help warm up this room. I really like the way that it turned out. And I have a few other things up top there as well, just showing off my personality. But the main reason I have the shelf is so I could mount my stream lights and camera underneath of it. And for my stream camera, I'm still rocking the Sony A5100 with the Sigma 16 millimeter F 1.4 lens. Still looks absolutely amazing for my streams. And below that, I have two 27 inch 1440p monitors clocked each at 150 Hertz. And then next to the monitors, I have my custom PC. It is the first custom build that I've ever done. I built it a few years back and I've slowly been upgrading it over time, most of the RGB that you see on it are Corsair products and I have an RTX 3080. I get asked a lot what my case is and honestly, it was just some random case that I found off of Amazon. And unfortunately, they don't even make the case anymore, but I'm glad I picked it up when I did. Moving on to the peripherals that I use, I start off by having this giant extra large mouse pad from Fnatic. On top of that is a 60% keyboard that I got from Ducky, as well as a glorious Model O minus wireless mouse that I recently got for Christmas and I've been super happy with it. And for my audio setup, I have been using a Rode Procaster with a Rode boom arm. 10 out of 10, love this thing. And it is hooked up to my Go XLR Mini, which is still one of my all time favorite streaming products. 
Can't recommend the thing enough. I should also mention that I have been using a Secret Lab gaming chair forever. This is the fabric one. I've never been a fan of sitting on leather chairs. It just is not my thing. So the fact that Secret Lab makes fabric ones is really awesome in my opinion. And then to tie everything together for the whole desk setup, I have some RGB lighting throughout. Behind my desk, I have a Gobi light strip that lets me change it to multiple colors at once. I usually keep this as my brand colors. And then above all of that, I have three RGB floodlights, which go behind my monitors and my PC. They output a ton of light. And in my opinion, all that lighting really brings my setup together and acts as a sick backdrop for when I'm making YouTube videos like this. But also, it's just really enjoyable to be at. Again, I'll be doing a full in-depth desk setup tour in an upcoming video, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that. But with that, I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.